gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cammie and today's video is going to be a little different. Um, basically I just wanted to talk to you guys. It's kind of a random video. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear but my son is in his room watching um, PJ Masks and he has his like gecko costume that he got on today. Um, so, I don't know if you guys will hear that in the background or whatnot, and my husband is watching football. So, I thought I would go ahead and make this video. I had another video planned for today, but um, I just felt like I needed to make this video, I guess. Um, so, if you guys are new, I really hope that you will stick around and follow along. The journey of my family. I am a young mom to a three-year-old son and I am married and I'm currently pregnant with a baby girl and I also have a cat and a dog so that's just a little about me. Um, but yeah we're just gonna kind of talk. Um, let's see where do I want to start? I'm just gonna go ahead and start with how pregnancy has been during COVID, um, during a pandemic and all of that. So if you guys don't know, I was trying to conceive and we started, I think in January or like the month before January, December. Um, but we tried for about six months before we got my positive and I mean, COVID did start in like the middle of us trying um, and we were, you know, we thought about putting it off, um, but it was definitely something that I was, I didn't think that this would last for a while or anything like that. I thought it was going to be something that, you know, maybe went on for like two months and then just people got back to their normal lives. Um, I mean, now... As I'm saying this, our governor, I live in Florida, has now pretty much opened everything up to full capacity, I think. I think the only requirements is that we still wear masks, but I think everything is open to a full capacity. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so we did get pregnant during the pandemic, which did mean that, you know, my husband couldn't go to any appointments with me, which you know, obviously sucks because he did go to, I think, pretty much every appointment that I had with Parker. Maybe like not two, but I mean, he was in the Air Force at that time, but it was really important to me that he, you know, went to them. And so now, I mean, you couldn't even bring, like no children were allowed to be even brought into the OBGYN. So I had to have my dad babysit Parker while I would even go to these appointments. Um, and then it was just kind of a bummer because, like, they would be like, you can, you know, FaceTime or phone call or just take a video of the ultrasounds or whatever. So that's what we have been doing. I just tried to take, you know, clips of it and post it on my TikTok or I have been doing updates on here. And, you know, I just send the pictures to my husband or wait till he gets home and show him what, you know, all went on. But it's definitely not the same thing as somebody going with you and honestly I don't even know if he would be able to go with me if everything you know I mean now maybe he can go to an appointment at some time but he would still have to take off work and all of that kind of stuff but yeah it was just kind of a bummer to not have your significant other there sharing those experiences with you especially since he got to go with my first and you know he hasn't really been a part of this um this pregnancy I mean he has but you know what I mean um so that's just kind of been hard and along with that for my first pregnancy um I still had some friends living here where I live uh, my best friend at the time um she I when I got pregnant I thought with Parker I thought that my friends were gonna leave me that they wouldn't want anything to do with me and I mean I did lose friends um but with Parker, I at least had one girl who, you know, was there and who was supportive. 
and who came to Parker's first birthday and you know bought some stuff for him and her family was just nice and supportive um but we did have a hurricane here and now she just no longer lives here and um yeah like nobody talks to me during this pregnancy so that's been another really hard thing like that honestly keeps me up at night like I've cried about it multiple times and it's just kind of something that I wanted to share um because being a mom in general is kind of lonely especially if you are a stay-at-home mom so if you're a stay-at-home mom I'm sure you can kind of understand where I'm coming from um, you don't have a nine to five job. You're not going somewhere and socializing with people on a scheduled basis. Sure, we may go to the park and I may talk to an adult there, but it's not, it's not the same thing as just getting interaction with somebody every single day. I am with my kid every single day, which I love and I wouldn't change for the world. But at the same time, it can also kind of just mess with your brain. Um, cause it is, it is a lonely a lonely job <laughs> and it's not my husband's fault it's nothing like that um it's you know it just it is what it is and yeah at least with parker's pregnancy i had somebody around who was just um my friend during that time and this time not really so much um yeah i don't want to like cry about it or anything it um it just kind of sucks and it's you know got me in a headspace or whatever yeah and it's just kind of it is what it is people are off living their lives at this point you know we're all older now than i was when i was with parker um or then yeah, we're all older now than i was when i was having parker um so people are off you know doing their own things living their own life you know figuring themselves out and i'm here you know having babies um so that's definitely different from their plans um, but it is, it just kind of sucks. Like, my family, sure, my dad, um, you know, he comes over and watches Parker and uh, he lives here, but my friends don't. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, they don't really check in, anything like that. So that's been kind of tough um, this time. And it's fine because they're off doing their own thing, but it also is, it just, it sucks. Um, and then along with my family, my grandparents, um, they are pretty old. <laughs> They're like 80 something. And so with the pandemic being here, um, I haven't seen them since it started. So, I mean, I had to tell them that I was pregnant over the phone. I've had to t send them like emails because I don't do texting or anything. I had to email them pictures of the ultrasound. Um, and they live here. They live like 15 minutes away from me. Um, but... I mean, they haven't seen me, and hopefully they feel better about seeing me soon and all that because I'm already halfway through this pregnancy and I haven't seen them. Um, I mean, I didn't get to celebrate my birthday with them. They didn't get to celebrate Parker's birthday, and this might just sound like a whole bunch of whining, but it is stuff that is, you know, just messing with my head, you know? Um, and just adding to, like, me feeling poopy for myself. Um because when you're pregnant you're already extremely just emotional and I'm a big overthinker and so everything just kind of keeps piling and piling on um and I'm so excited that I'm pregnant I'm so excited to meet baby girl and you guys that's not what this is about um I'm just wanting to share my feelings because I feel like it's something that I need to just put out there um just in case you guys are feeling the same thing or whatever it you know might be um and yeah that's pretty much what has been going on in my life and another thing that i have been kind of about um or feeling guilty about is because parker isn't fully potty trained not something that's really bothering me because I would really like him to be potty trained before baby girl gets here, which is in January. Um, I mean, he'll go on the potty. He knows how to pull us, pull, pull up down. Um, but the thing is like, 
if you tell him to go potty, like he will just say no. Like he doesn't want to do it. We've incentivized with jelly beans. At this point, I think he's just tired of jelly beans. We've tried stickers. Um, and it's not something I want to like force him to do because I feel like the more upset I get about it, the more he's not going to want to do it. And it's just something that I would really like to have done. And also just things with like his speech. Um, I want him to be speaking better by the time she gets here. So we've been like reading books every night and I got him like an activity thing. And I'm just worried that I'm worried that it's, it made me, there's making me a bad mom or something because maybe I'm being selfish because I wanted another kid and that's the thing that I was most like concerned about was I don't want him to feel left out. I don't want him to feel like he's not enough um, or anything like that because he is my baby boy. And he's the most important thing in my life and he's gonna have to just kind of have this shock which all siblings do and i understand that but that is something that is very like it has me really really worried um just because he is my baby boy and he's my entire world i want him to be as happy as he possibly can um so yeah <laughs> i did try to share this on tiktok but it kept getting removed a video I don't know they just didn't like my video or didn't like that I was sad or something um but I'm fine generally throughout the day like I focused on being a mommy and you know doing my prenatals and eating because I'm always hungry now that I'm pregnant um the only time that these like the thoughts are hitting me is like when I'm laying down to bed and that is when they just hit <laughs> and it's it's I'm sure a lot of you people are feeling the same way and I just wanted to put it out there how I was feeling um because I know people can get like postpartum depression I think there's one for like early or while you're pregnant and I don't think I have that I think I'm just worried about a lot of things and just feeling poopy for myself I guess um but yeah So yeah, that is just kind of what has been going through my head. Um, and again, I'm not making this as like a feel sorry for me. I'm just making this because I wanted to just share what I'm feeling. Um, I wanted to put it out there so I know that it's out there so people know how I'm feeling. Um, and all of that in case people are feeling the same way as I am. But yeah, on a happier note, we should be announcing her name pretty soon i am waiting on her name sign to come in but i mean shipping and like the ups and usps has been a little iffy lately like they lost some packages uh, that somebody bought me off the nursery registry and then they didn't i don't know it's just been a whole thing um so definitely stay tuned to that i'm just being whiny i know but yeah anyway i hope i got a I hope you guys enjoyed this video of just hearing me kind of ramble about what's going on in my life. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.